Hello and welcome to Kresge Gymnasium for some Albion College basketball action here in Albion, Michigan. Today we have some men's varsity basketball action with our very own Albion College Brits going up against the U Chicago Maroons. Albion has enjoyed a 4 and 2 start to the season, while U Chicago has also enjoyed a 4 and 2 start to the season. This would be a nice tiebreaker between these two teams. Looking for a W here today on this Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock. And right before the tip, I should have you note that these teams have met twice prior uh, prior to this meeting, and U Chicago has won both meetings once in 2015. U Chicago winning 69 to Albion 65, and uh, in 2017, U Chicago also beat Albion in an overtime victory, though uh, 81 Albion 76. Albion wins the tip, and they'll start out with the ball here. Here's Jalen Ford getting it over to MJ Barnes for three. Off back iron. And New Chicago gets the rebound, and here we go. They're running. Number 24 for the Maroons, Jordan Baum with the, with the ball. The junior guard getting it over. Going down to the post to number three off the backboard. And now Cole Schmitz with the shot there. Perry with the ball for the Brits, getting it back out to Davis over the Fordham, over MJ Bars, getting it down to Ebeling over on the left block. Ebeling going to work, ball on the floor, drop steps, and we're going to get a foul and one to start off the game for Caden Ebeling. He'll go to the line and try to complete the three-point play. Ebling with a hot start for the Brits. Hopefully this will bring hopefully this will bring the Brits off to a fast start as they increase their lead to the Brits for the first points of the game. 3-0. There's the Maroons. How will they respond? Getting it down to 15. 15. Dominic Larravi for the easy lay-in. Both teams with some easy buckets to start the game. Here's James L. Davis getting it over to Mr. Fordham, but they get it back out to Perry. They're going to bring it back up top. Barnes over to Davis over in the left corner. Davis jabs, settles for three, rattles around the iron and out. Here's U Chicago getting it over to Cole Schmitz. He'll bring it out. And U Chicago is going to decide to run some offense here. Number five, Noah Karras with the ball, getting it into Schmitz, who gets it into 45, Jacobson, and he'll be foul. Fouls on Caden Ebling, first foul of the game, sending Ryan Jacobson, the senior forward, to the line. First attempt hits off right iron. Second attempt is up. Off left iron this time. Albion with the rebound, specifically Jalen Fordham. Here's James L. Davis with the ball for the Brits. Davis looking for someone finding Barnes over in the left corner. He almost dropped the ball there. <laughs> but he retains possession. Ball gets worked over to Perry. Perry drives in on the right side, off the glass, and in. Perry scoring his first two points of the game for the Brits. Being over to Cole Schmitz is the Maroons. He settles for the right corner three and too soft. Ball goes, oh no, it's a foul. It's a, oh yes, yes, foul on Jalen Fordham on the rebound there. That would be Fordham's second foul, I believe, of the game. Ball gets inbounded into Noah Karras. Ball's off, but quickly rebounded by Ebling, and here are the Brits on the quick, fast break. You get it over to MJ Barnes, and he misses the open three, and here's the Maroons. How will they respond? 
Jordan Baum inbounding in to Larravee. We're going to get a travel call there on Larravee. He took a few steps there after getting the inbound there from Baum. It'll be, I'll be in possession. Quick start to the game. Team's getting some easy buckets to start off this game. Let's see if the Brits can settle it down here. We have Fordham with the ball. He'll drive in, get some contact, gets it over to Barnes. Ebling gets a bump, tries to put it up after the bump, but too soft. Rebounded by the Maroons, and they're running. Here's 15, Larravee for three. Rattles around the rim. Oh, off front iron. There's Davis in transition, finding Perry. He drives all the way and gets fouled. Foul will be on Noah Karras. Karras, excuse me. He'll send Perry to the line. He'll be shooting too. First attempt missed by Perry. We got a bolo of substitutions here for the Maroons. We have number 35, Brennan McDaniel, and number 21, Max Jacobs, coming off the bench for the Maroons. Perry, second attempt is up and in. Increasing Albion's lead early in this first half. Six, New Chicago, two. Baum bringing it up court for the Maroons, and they're running offense. Walk gets back over to Baum after a few passes, finding 35 of McDaniel on the post. He'll be uh, Jalen Fordham's called for the foul there. He didn't like the foul call. <laughs> Ball will be inbounded by the Maroons. Fordham comes out after picking up some quick fouls. And for Fordham comes number 34, the freshman forward, Devin Holmes. Let's see how he does here. Inbounded by Baum, getting it into uh, Larravee. Larravee drives in. Passes it back out. And we have Baum with the ball for the Maroons swinging it over. We have McDaniel at the top here. Maroons running some excellent offense. Three on the shot clock. 21. Max Jacobs puts it up. They fight for the rebound. And we have a foul on the rebound. Albion. Albion will get possession. Excuse me. No foul call there. <laughs> here we have... James L. Davis with the ball, bringing it up court, getting it over to Devin Holmes. And looks like the Brits are going to be running some offense here. MJ Barnes getting over to the left, finding Davis over on the left wing. Back Perry up top. Perry decides to put it on the floor, finding Davis. Davis hesitates, pulls up for three. Air ball, bad air ball, rebounded by McDaniel for the Maroons. And Baum's running. Trying to swing it over to Jacobs there on the right side, but too <laughs> too strong. Barely maintain possession of the ball. Devin Holmes trying to trying to knock the ball loose for the Brits. Almost gets a turnover, but the Maroons finding 21 Jacobs over on the left corner. He's not able to knock it down. Here's James L. Davis with a quick response and transition. Finding Barnes. Barnes hesitates. Puts up the jumper, misses it. Here's Baum, and we have a whistle. We have an offensive foul call. I believe it's going to be a number 15 Larrabee down there on the post. I think he got a little handsy down there, and the referee wasn't having it. It'll be Albion in possession. We're going to get some substitution for the Brits. In comes Ryan Lowe and Nathaniel Collins. Also, Arshon Parker off the bench. Parker's been a nice spark plug off the bit off the bench for the Brits. He's also a very a very good ball handler. He gets it over to Perry. Perry drives in, gets some nice defense there from Baum. And Baum gets the rebound, drives all the way in, finding 32. 
Colangelo, and he knocks down the three-point shot over there in the right corner to decrease this Albion lead. Six, New Chicago five. Ryan Lowe trying to post up. We get a nice, some we get some nice denied ball defense there by McDaniel on the Brits. On the Brits, Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe tried to post up there on the left block. He knocked it right out of bounds. You don't want to let Ryan Lowe get get prime position down there. The senior center, 6'11", big guy, and once he gets prime position, it's going to be hard to stop him from doing what he wants. But here we have Arshon Parker here on the inbound, getting it into Perry. Perry separating the floor, looking for Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe gets called for the offensive foul call there. He's bumping, bumping around with McDaniel there again on the left block. McDaniel doing a really good job denying Ryan Lowe prime position down there. He knows. Ryan Lowe is able to get some good position down there. It's going to be a hard time stopping him. He's going to have to try to stop him from getting position in the first place so he can't get the ball. But here's Baum with the drive, getting it over to Colangelo. Back out to McDaniel. McDaniel fakes, settles for three. Hits off iron. Ryan Lowe with the rebound. He gets fouled on the rebound. Substitution for the Brits and Maroons. We have number five, Zachary Winston, and also number five, Noah Karras. Karras, excuse me, Noah Karras coming in for U Chicago. Arshawn Parker bringing the ball up court. Ball gets swung over to Winston. Finding Collins for the free throw line jumper. Scoring his first points for the Brits to increase the Brits' lead back to three. Albion College eight, U Chicago five. And here's U Chicago with the ball. Jacobs surveying the court, getting it over to 45. Jacobson hands it off to number five, Noah Karras, and he'll hit the easy jumper coming off of the screen there to decrease the Albion lead back to one. Here's Winston finding Collins over on the left corner. Collins settles for the jumper. Too strong, and here comes the Maroons. Jacobs driving over, finding Karras with a nice pass, but gets blocked by the Brits. And Arshon Parker loses the ball in transition, and Karras is going to lay it in after Arshon Parker loses the ball there. Can't be happy with himself, but he brings the ball right back up. Short-term memory there for Arshon Parker. That easy layup gave the Maroons the lead there. I'll be an H. Chicago 9. I think Arshon Parker misses the open three-point shot. Here's Jacobs with a tough drive and got some contact there. Ended up on the floor, but no whistle from the referees. And New Chicago is now leading by three. Winston getting into low there on the on the left block. He's gonna decide to go to work. Drop steps. Ball gets off glass, but doesn't hit rim. Ryan Lowe. Here's, here goes the Maroons, number 32. Almost decides to hit, to go for the three. Ends up being a good choice as Noah Karras hits the, hits the three-point shot there over on the left corner. U Chicago going on a nice run there after a slow start for the Maroons. And we'll be right back after this full timeout. Back after the full timeout by the Brits. New Chicago went on a nice run there after a slow start to take a six point lead over the Brits mid, almost midway through the first half here. 
at Kresge, Albion losing eight. New Chicago Maroons 14 as number 12. Dylan Bennett turns the ball over there for the Brits. That'll be New Chicago ball here. A little miscommunication there on offense for the Brits. A little bad timing as they're trying to come back from the six point deficit. New Chicago finding number 30, Zach Munson. He misses the three point shot, rebounded by Nathaniel Collins. And here goes the Brits with the ball here, running their offense. Zach Winston finding James L. Davis. Davis driving in, finding Bennett for the corner three. Too soft. Off front iron. And here's Chicago with the response, finding 32. Colangelo for three. He misses. Rebounded by Eblen. James L. Davis pushing the ball. Decides to slow it up. Finding Eblen. He gets it over to Bennett. And the Brits are going to be running some offense here. Winston off the pick and roll from Ebling. Finding Bennett gets it over to Collins. Collins driving in for the floater. In. Collins with four points for the Brits. Maroons with the ball. The four point lead over the Brits. Maroons finding, finding it easy to run offense lately. We're going to get a pushing foul here on Dylan Bennett as he tried to, you know, he tried to box him under the rim there. He knew that he was in big trouble, so he tried to push him, push him in not a less advantageous position there to Bennett. Referee wasn't having it. Jordan Baum on the inbound, finding number five. Karras as he knocks down the open jumper to give Chicago a six point lead here. 10 minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Here's Collins finding Bennett after the screen here. James L. Davis driving in, gets the foul. Foul will be on Ryan Jacobson for you, Chicago. He'll send James L. Davis to the line for two. Davis' first attempt is up and then. Second attempt is up. Ah, that's off front iron, rebounded by Cole Schmitz. He gets the ball to Jordan Baum for UChicago, and he'll walk it up court here. Albion defense having trouble stopping the Maroons the past few stops here. That's how they got this five-point lead here. Let's see if they can get a stop here. Up top with the ball, Zach Munson, he drives in. He gets fouled by Caden Ebling. Ebling doesn't like the foul call. Ebling will send Zach Munson, the freshman, to the line. He'll be shooting too. First attempt is up. And nothing but not. We got a few substitutions here for the Brits. Out goes Zach Winston and Caden Ebling. In comes Ryan Lowe and MJ Barnes. Munson's second attempt is up and in. Let's see if the substitution of MJ Barnes and Ryan Lowe can make a difference for the Brits. James L. Davis with the ball, getting it to MJ Barnes. He's still in Bennett with the ball, trying to find Ryan Lowe down there. Ryan Lowe really calling for the ball there. He wants it bad. He gets the ball down there on the right block. He had position, but couldn't see it. Ball gets worked over to Nathaniel Collins. He misses the three point shot, not a bounds. New Chicago ball. Jordan Baum walking the ball up court there. Albion struggling to knock down their open shots. They're getting open shots over on the offensive end. Can't seem to knock it down. And on the defensive end, on the defensive end, 
They can't seem to get a stop, but they do there. And in transition, finding MJ Barnes for three. MJ Barnes three gives Albion 14 points to decrease the U Chicago lead to four. Albion 14, U Chicago 18. Maroons running their offense. Jordan Baum almost finding the freshman for the Zach Munsman off the nice pass. He gets blocked though, and in transition, Nathaniel Collins gets fouled. He'll be going to the line. Amazing defense there by the Brits there. With the big block. And then we're going to get Nathaniel Collins going to the line after the transition foul there by Chicago. Nathaniel Collins has enjoyed a decent start to this game. Now five points after that free throw, I believe. I believe five points. We're going to get a substitution for the Maroons. Back in the game comes McDaniel. Brennan McDaniel. Collins' second free throw attempt is off. Rebounded by number three, Cole Schmitz. And there's Jordan Baum with the ball. He gets a pick and roll from McDaniel. McDaniel for three. In! McDaniel increasing New Chicago's lead. Albion 15, New Chicago 21. Ryan Lowe battling for position down there on the left block. Decides to opt away from it. James L. Davis for the deep three. Ryan Lowe gets the rebound but can't get the easy put back after he gets the ball. New Chicago, how will they respond here? Her Schmitz over on the left side here. Getting it out to Baum, finding Karras for three. Rattles around the rim. Nathaniel Collins going to the ground after the athletic rebound there. <laughs> got, a lot of, got a lot of air on the rebound there. Meant nothing but hardwood on the way down. <laughs> but he gets up. He's going to walk it off. Ryan Lowe really wanting the ball down there. Couldn't, couldn't put it back in after he got the rebound. He had prime position, but the ball just didn't want to go down the hole there. <laughs> Let's see if they can get him involved in the game. But Nathaniel Collins again going to the line for the Brits. First attempt is up. It'll be on one and one. First attempt is in. Second attempt is up and in. Decreasing U Chicago's lead did those two free throws. Nathaniel Collins being a nice scoring presence for the Brinch. He'll come out of the game. Albion still down. Albion 17, U Chicago 21. Here's Carras with the ball for U Chicago. Trying to find McDaniel. He's posted up on Dylan Bennett. This looks like a mismatch. And he'll, he'll get a hooking foul call there on Mr. Barnes. Oh, no. That, 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 foul, that foul was on Dylan Bennett there. He got away with a little hook there on Bennett, trying to get Bennett out of the way so he can get the lay-in. But instead, McDaniel will go to the line. First attempt is up. Off back iron. James L. Davis with the rebound for the Brits. Let's see what he does with the ball here. Davis. Conducting traffic here for the Brits. Brits running offense. Dylan Bennett with the ball, and they're going to get an offensive foul call. We're going to get a moving screen call there on Ryan Lowe. And Lowe will come out of the game. And then for Lowe comes the freshman, Devin Holmes. See what the Maroons here do with the ball. 
Jordan Baum, the ball handler for UChicago, getting it over to Zach Munson. Munson hesitates, gets it back to Baum. Finds Karras over on the left side. Karras gets it over back to Baum. Baum surveying the court, looking for McDaniel. McDaniel with a nice athletic catch. Puts it up and in. McDaniel with the athletic catch, able to find his balance, find the rim, and lay it in there for the Maroons. Let's see how the Brits respond here. James L. Davis with the ball, finding Collins for three. Too soft, off front iron. But Davis with the pesky hands there with the easy steal, can't knock down the three-point shot after getting the ball on the rebound. Brits struggling to knock down their open shots here to start this first half as Munson spins on Devin Holmes. Gets a lot of contact, no whistle there. Zach Munson with a nice drive there. Here are the Brits with the ball. Perry trying to find MJ Barnes driving to the hole, I mean cutting to the hole. Ball gets knocked out of bounds, but last touch by Barnes, and it'll be Chicago ball, and we're gonna get a timeout. And we'll be right back after this 30 second timeout. And we're back after the timeout. If you haven't already, make sure you download the Albion app, the My Albion app, as it is the only app that Albion is going to keep up with and provide support with. The old one is not getting any support. So if you haven't yet and you're a member of the Brett family, please make sure to download the My Albion app. And here we have Chicago with the ball. We have McDaniel fighting with Collins down there on the right block. Munson fighting with Devin Holmes down there for position. We're going to get a holding foul call there on Devin Holmes. As him and Munson were trying to fight for position down there. Devin Holmes tried to box Munson there under the basket so he wouldn't have as good his position as he did. Munson with the free throws, knocking down the first one on one. The Brits are going to have to find a defensive adjustment for that, as this is about maybe the second or, time, second or third time that New Chicago has been sent to the line for something similar to this. Munson knocking down the second free throw. New Chicago getting prime position down there on the block, and then the Brits struggling to recover and then getting fouled on the recovery. Usually it's New Chicago. We'll see if they'll make any adjustments to that. But Perry driving in underneath the basket, trying to hit the reverse. Too strong, hits off the high glass, and we have U Chicago with the rebound. They're running. Here's McDaniel. Tried to pass it into Cole Schmitz. He loses the ball temporarily, but finds number 30, Zach Munson, and he knocks down the three. U Chicago with a 13 point lead over the Brits. MJ Barnes missing the open jump shot there. Albion struggling to find something to fall. MJ Barnes missing the open jumper there. Here's Schmitz with the open right corner three. He misses it luckily for the Brits. That would have been a killer for them. But here we are. The Brits almost turning over the ball to Perry there on the catch. Gets it back out to Collins. Collins jab steps and he gets bumped by McDaniel. That'll be a foul. Blocking foul called there on McDaniel. Collins will be sent to the line off of that bump. He didn't really like it.
a few substitutions here for the Brits. James O. Davis coming back into the game. And Collins will be shooting one and one here for the Brits. Just under five minutes to play, and the Brits are down 13 as Collins' first free throw attempt is in. Collins' second free throw attempt is in, decreasing the U Chicago lead now to 11. Let's see how the Brits play some defense here. They're having trouble stopping this U Chicago offense. There's Munson with the ball for the Brits, spinning on Holmes. Pivots back around, air balls the hook shot there. Great defense by the freshman Devin Holmes. Davis finding Winston over on the right side. He decides to opt out from the shot. A little nice hesitation there, but back out to MJ Barnes. I believe the Brits are going to be running offense, but no. Davis drives on the right side, finding Winston over on the right side for three. Can't seem to knock down the shot here for the Brits. Uh, Zach Winston missing the open three-point shot. That seems to be the theme for the offense of the Brits. Can't, not knocking down their, op, their open shots as the Maroons missed their three-point shot. The Brits back on offense. Here's Nathaniel Collins with the ball. Running Barnes over to Davis. He looked for Devin Holmes there on the left block. Holmes didn't really want it. We're going to get it. McDaniel with a piece of, a, maybe with a block there on Collins as he gets the ball right back in transition but can't finish it over there on the left block. Great defense there by the Brits. Brits finding Jay Barnes for three on the right side and off. And Baum's going to slow it down after some instruction from his coach and he's going to run some offense. Baum gets it over to Munson. Munson back to Baum. Baum gets a screen from Munson. Finds McDaniel over on the right side for three. Can't knock it down. Munson with the rebound for the Maroons. Gets the rebound, dribbles over, and off the glass. And then Munson increasing the U Chicago lead on the Brits. The Brits down 19-32. Timeout by the Brits. And we'll be back after this timeout. We're back after the timeout. We're the Brits with the ball here. Down big on New Chicago. Albion 19, New Chicago Maroons 32. Here's Winston with the ball for the Brits. We're going to travel call on Zach Winston on the drive there. He tried to avoid going out of bounds after he got some contact on his drive. Referee saw him take a third step somewhere along there. He tried to get the ball out of his hands. The Brits have been struggling on offense, just can't seem to get the ball to go in too often. They've had plenty of open shots, but the ball won't go in. But luckily for both teams, for the Brits, both teams have been a little slow within the past maybe two or three minutes here. New Chicago running the ball, five seconds up on the shot clock, finding Munson down low, and he'll put off a glass and in. Now giving U Chicago a 34 to 19 lead over the Brits. Uh, Zach Winston missing the quick three-point shot on the in the right corner 
for the Brits. Here's Baum with the ball for you, Chicago. We're getting an out of bounds call. <laughs> no, no, Karras for the U Chicago stepped out of bounds. Probably with his free with his free foot there and the triple threat on the drive. It'll be Albion ball as James L. Davis comes out of the game and comes Arshon Parker for the Brits. Arshon Parker getting a screen from Devin Holmes. Albion working the ball around. We're going to get a foul call. Devin Holmes will be sent to the line. Zach Munson, we're going to get a holding call on Zach Munson on Devin Holmes. He'll be sent to the line. Devin Holmes, the freshman, coming off of the bench, providing some, some decent minutes off the bench here. That's his first free throw as N. Finally getting some points on the board for the Brits. Just under 1 minute 30 seconds left to go in this first half for the Brits. They're down 13 on New Chicago, 21-34. Brits struggling on offense to get the ball to go in. They're, they're getting the shots that they want. But here's your Chicago on response. We're going to foul. Cole Schmitz going to the line for you, Chicago. It'll be a foul on the freshman, Devin Holmes, as we just talked about. Cole Schmitz will be shooting two. New Chicago finding the hustle points, specifically Zach Munson a few times down there on the block, getting some rebounds and putting it back up for them, the freshman forward for New Chicago. It would be interesting to see if the Brits make any defensive adjustments to that going into the second half as the Chicago second free throw is off. Arshon Parker getting the tough rebound after there's a brief scramble for the ball. He'll slow it up. And the Brits are going to be running offense here just under one minute to go. Zach Winston jabs, steps, drives down the left side, trying to find, tried to find the freshman Devin Holmes with a nice skip pass with the ball to go out of bounds, turnover. U Chicago ball. Am I in the ball for U Chicago? It is Zach Munson. Brits really needed a score there to try to decrease this lead. U Chicago, here's, U Ch here's Smith's driving baseline. He'll get a foul call. He'll be going to the line. Foul call is on Winston. First foul of the game. Schmidt's first free throw is up and in. Smith's second free throw attempt is up. Off back iron. High iron. Rebounded by McDaniel for U Chicago. And they'll have another possession. Boom with the ball for U Chicago. Big rebound there. So U Chicago can get another possession. Late in the first half here. 30 seconds left to go. We've got about 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Boom with the ball. Hesitates. Almost pulls a three, gets it down to Munson. He'll opt for the quick jumper. He misses it. There's a scramble for the ball. Brits get the rebound. Arshon Parker with the ball. Got about 10 seconds left on the game clock here. Arshon Parker directing traffic. Gets the screen from Devin Holmes. Quick jumper in. Arshon Parker knocking down the jumper. To close the first half for the Brits, the Brits down, still down by 12. Albion, 23. New Chicago, 35. We'll see if the Brits can make any defensive adjustments to try and stop this New Chicago offensive attack. 
But until then, we'll be back in 15 minutes, right after the half.
coming back from the second half. We have your Albion College Brits down by 12. Albion 23. UC, U Chicago 35. Let's see if the Brits can make some defensive adjustments here on the defensive end. U Chicago coming up with multiple offensive rebounds to start. Excuse me, not to start throughout the first half. The freshman for the U Chicago, Zach Munson, being big for them. Let's see if the Brits can tighten up on defense here. And they almost do as Ken Nevlin gets a deflection on the ball. But Chicago running screens as Noah Karras missing the jumper. But Chicago with the offensive rebound. 45, Jacobson missing the right hook. And here's Perry in transition finding Ebling. Ebling drops down, lays it in. Ebling's laying. Cutting the Chicago lead down to 10 to start the second half. It's Karras for Chicago with a three, a quick three in response to give U Chicago a 38 25 lead over the Brits. And here's James L. Davis with the ball getting over to Perry. Perry up top swinging it over to Barnes. Barnes trying to get it down to Ebling, and he turns it over. And here's Karras. Oh, and Karras losing possession of the ball. And, and transition for Chicago. Chicago had numbers, and he, he, he can't be happy with himself there. If you're the Brits, you got to be happy with them. And you almost gave up some easy points in transition. As Fordham inbounds it in to Davis. Davis swings it over to Barnes over on the right wing. Right. Barnes getting over to Fordham, he swings it over to Perry, He's trying to find Ebling on the left side, and he'll be fouled by Ryan Jacobson. Foul will be on the floor, and it'll be inbounded by James L. Davis for the Brits. We have a substitution for the Chicago. Out is Jacobson, in comes McDaniel, number 35. And here's Davis for the inbounds, getting into Fordham as Ebling stabs his great position underneath the basket, boxing out McDaniel. He gets another easy lay-in. Ebling with a nice four points for the Brits to start off a half. Here's Baum swinging over to Karras, down to McDaniel. McDaniel backing down to Ebling, and he'll be fouled and sent to the line. Quick foul call there on the referee. Abling didn't like the foul call there. He'll send McDaniel to the line on the on the foul. He'll be shooting too. McDaniel missing the first free throw. He gets some distraction there. <laughs> he looks back to the Albion College students section. He doesn't like it. As McDaniel knocks down the second free throw, he didn't like the yelling that came from the Albion College student section. But here's Davis with the ball back to Davis after a brief to Barnes. Barnes gets it back over to Perry. Here's Fordham as he jabs, hesitates, finding Perry over on the left side. Perry almost drives baseline, decides not to. Five seconds left on the shot clock. There's Davis for the three. And James L. Davis' three-point shot decreases the U Chicago lead down to single digits for the first time in the fir since the first half, since early in the first half. Albion down nine, 30. U Chicago 39. And here's Karras for three. He misses it and out of bounds. Brits possession. Let's see if the Brits can put together a run here to try to close this gap. Brits down nine. Here's James L. Davis. In last possession, Davis is able to knock down the three-point shot. Trying to find Ebling over on the on the left side. Ebling going to work on McDaniel. 
backing down, hook shot, ran a travel call on Ebling. Ebling shuffled his feet there as he was backing down McDaniel. McDaniel, a solid guy. Ebling and McDaniel have been going at it down there on the block all day. Here's Karras as Davis strips the ball. And here we have Fordham, 2 on 1. He Euro steps and off the glass and in. Fordham with the lay in for the Brits in transition. And it leads now down to 9 early in the second half. Here's 15. Larravee with the ball. Down to Karras. Karras. Drop steps and gets fouled. He'll be going to the line. Excuse me, Cross will not be going to the line as that foul was on the floor as the referees work it out. Cross will also go to the bench for you, Chicago. <sighs> and the ball will be inbounded by Jordan Baum for you, Chicago. Yes, you, Chicago on the inbound. Baum getting it in to Schmitz. Schmitz drives in off the glass and in. Jordan Baum with the lay in, giving Chicago a 41 to 32 lead over the Brits. Ball gets into Caden Ebling, finding James L. Davis over on the right side for three. In! James L. Davis knocking down the three point shot for the Brits. Make that two three pointers here. Early in the second half for James L. Davis. Let's see if he can warm up for the Brits. Decreasing the U Chicago lead 35, U Chicago 41. We're going to foul call MJ Barn. Let's see if James L. Davis can heat up for the Brits as Caden Ebling comes out of the game for Ryan Lowe. James L. Davis can be a very streaky shooter for the Brits, an overall scorer for the Brits if he, if he can get going. Ball gets inbounded into number 15, Larravee, and we're going to get a foul on Fordham. As Larravee tried to drive in, and he got bumped by Fordham and got sent to the ground. Brits playing a far more physical defense here so far in the second half. Ball inbounded to Larravee. Back to Baum. He's going to get a screen by Larravee over on the right side. Up to Munson. Munson trying to end ball the bound to Larravee, but the ball gets stolen. And we got three on one. And excellent defense there by Baum. He inbounds it. He throws it up there to Munson. He tries to dunk it. And he misses it. But ball rebounded by Larravee on, on U Chicago. Munson missing the easy dunk there in transition, giving the Brits. A chance on defense to get a stop as Munson also misses the left corner three, but rebounded by Cole Schmitz, and he puts it back in. Uh, an amazing uh, sequence there. Quick sequence there. And we're going to get a timeout by the Brits. A full timeout, I believe. Yes, we're going to get a full timeout. And we'll be back right after the timeout.
And we're back after the full timeout by the Brits. An awesome sequence of events happened just before the timeout there. Zach Munson missing the transition dunk after a steal, giving the Brits a chance to get back on defense. But you see, still getting the offensive rebound, Cole Schmitz with the easy putback. Maintaining this U Chicago lead as Ryan Lowe missing the right hook layup. U Chicago still leading the Brits 43 to 35. We're going to get a whistle here. We're going to get a foul on. We're going to foul on Jalen Fordham. He'll come out of the game for Dylan Bennett. Jordan Baum with the inbound for. U Chicago. Jordan Baum inbounding into Munson. Munson ops for three. Off back iron. The Brits battle for the rebound. Fordham gets the rebound. No, excuse me. Perry. He gets the ball to Parker. Parker drives the ball up court. We're going to whistle. Offensive foul call on Ryan Lowe as he's battling with Munson down there on the left block. Got him for a hooking call, did the referee. Ryan Lowe has been called for multiple fouls there on the offensive end all game, but he doesn't seem to be happy. As Baum comes out of the game, he's been he's had some some some, some substantial minutes for the Chicago Maroons. Here's Larravee with the inbound for the for the U Chicago Maroons. Ball handler is Max Jacobs. Finding Cross over on the right side. There's Munson back to Jacobs. Down to Larravee. He misses the jumper there. But Munson with the rebound. Got, got lots of contact there, but blocked by Ryan Lowe. Here's Arshon Parker with the ball. Here's Collins finding Lowe, and we're going to get Munson with the foul call. The foul will be on the floor. We're going to get a holding call on Munson as he was trying to guard Ryan Lowe, big Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe has been struggling to find some offensive rhythm. He's been called for multiple offensive foul calls. But it's got to be nice to have a call to not go against him. And we're going to have Zach Winston on the inbound. Oh, excuse me, they switch it out. But we're going to go with Arshon Parker on the inbound. Let's see if they can get Ryan Lowe back the ball down there on the block. Here we get inbound into Dylan Bennett. Bennett getting it back over to Winston. He drives it back out. Ball gets swung over to Arshon Parker. He tries to drive baseline. Decides to drive baseline. And we're going to get him. An and he stepped out of bounds over there under the baseline. He had a tight window to try to squeeze through. He tried to get under the basket and put it off the glass. Referee calling for stepping out of bounds. Ryan Jacobson on the inbound for you, Chicago. Max Jacobs, the ball handler here for you, Chicago. Find the cross over on the right side. Cross gets a screen from McDaniel. Drop steps, gets a spin. We're going to travel call. Tried to do a nice spin move there, but the referee wasn't having it. Saw too many steps there. Brits ball. The Britons have been doing an excellent job of creating some more offense here in the second half. I see if they can keep it up. Arshon Parker trying to drive in. Can't find anything. Passes it back out to Collins, but finding Arshon Parker open in the left corner for three. He can't seem to knock it down. Rebounded by U Chicago. In transition, he decides to slow it up. Gets a screen from McDaniel, an easy lay-in after the nice pick and roll there from McDaniel to give U Chicago another 10-point lead over the Brits. Let's see if they can knock the score back down to single digits. Arshon Parker with the screen on with Ryan Lowe. Arshon Parker looking for Bennett for three. Yeah. Dylan Bennett, three, knocks the U Chicago deficit back down to seven. Just under 13 minutes 
on, to go under in the second half. We're in an offensive foul call on McDaniel as he tried to body up Dylan Bennett over on the right block. It'll be Britt's position as Ryan Lowe comes out of the game. Back in comes Caden Ebling. And it'll be interesting to see if Ebling will continue to battle with McDaniel down low on the block. They've been going at it all game. As, just as I said, Ab Ebling comes up for a pick and roll as Arshon Parker trying to mix in there, finding Ebling on the right side. Ebling banging, gets blocked by McDaniel after a lot of contact, but no whistle from the referee. Maroon's trying to respond quickly and get it over to Karras over on the right side, but they turn over the ball. Britt's possession. Dylan Bennett on the inbound for the Brits. Arshon Parker bringing the ball up court. Let's see if Arshon Parker try to get this ball back down to Ebling. As I said, McDaniel and Ebling have been battling all day. Running an offensive foul call on Ebling. Ebling, just like Ryan Lowe, trying to establish some prime positioning down there on the block, but the referees haven't been having it with the, with, with, with the physical play down low. Back in for Evelyn comes Ryan Lowe. They've been switching in and out all game. New Chicago with the ball. Here's number 32, Cole Angelo with the ball. Here's Jacobson finding McDaniel. McDaniel with the on-ball screen gets a lot of contact to Jacobs, but Ryan Lowe was able to have him readjust his shot as Oshawn Parker knocks down Noah Karras with a step-back jumper, puts him on the floor. Oshawn Parker with an awesome step-back. And the Albion student section Letting you Chicago have it now. Here's Karras with the jumper. And he misses it. Collins with the tough rebound. Let's see if the play by Parker can spark some offense here from the Brits. Here's Winston with the drive. Finding Bennett open with the right wing three in. We're going to get a timeout. From U Chicago, the Brits decreasing the U Chicago lead to two after Arshon Parker putting North Karras on the floor with the awesome step back and Dylan Bennett then knocking down the open right wing three point shot. And we'll be back right after the full U Chicago timeout. Coming out of the timeout, the Brits able to decrease the U Chicago Maroons lead down to two. The Brits finding a spark of offense after Arshon Parker delivering a nice step back that put U Chicago's North Cross on the floor. And then knocking down the jumper after the crossover. And then finding Dylan Bennett open for three in the next possession. Let's see if the Brits can continue 
to put points on the board. Arshon Parker continuing to be a spark for the Brits off the bench, the senior guard. As number 21, Max Jacobs taking Arshon Parker to the hole for the easy lay-in. Here's Arshon Parker for the Brits with the ball. Guarded by Jacobs. Gets a screen from Ryan Lowe. It's Parker. He settles for jumper. Can't get the free throw line jumper to fall. Here's U Chicago with the ball. 24. Jordan Baum finding Jacobs over in the corner. Ball gets swung all the way over to Schmitz. And we're getting an awesome defense from Collins. New Chicago displaying some uh, a nice passing here, finding Baum open for the left side three. He can't knock it down. Collins with the rebound. Arshon Parker with the ball in transition for the Brits. And the Brits are going to run some offense here. Dylan Bennett with the ball. Here's Collins up top. Going to get a pick from Ryan Lowe. Decide, can't find anything. And the Brits turn the ball over, trying to get the ball into Ryan Lowe. But the, 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 the pass... It was very errant, and they turned the ball over. Here's U Chicago with the ball in response. U Chicago is still leading by four here. We're going to get a steal from Marshawn Parker. He doesn't have numbers here, but he's going to take it strong off the glass. Marshawn Parker with a tough lay-in to decrease the U Chicago lead down to two again. After the steal, here's U Chicago with the ball. 15, Dominic Larravee trying to inbound the ball to Jacobson, but he's going to get fouled on the entry pass. Jacobson. Jacobson had prime position down there, and the Brett's trying to prevent him from scoring, fouled him on the entry pass. I'll send Jacobson to the line for two. And we're going to get a few substitutions for the Brett's. And for Ryan Lowe is Devin Holmes. And for Nathaniel Collins, we have MJ Barnes. Jacobson's free throw. Rattles around the rim and in. Jacobson's second free throw attempt. Too soft, almost nearly an air ball. Arshon Parker with the rebound. He has the ball for the Brits. He's been big in the second half, being an excellent spark plug. Getting the ball over to Zach Winston. Pick from Dylan Bennett. Winston drives all the way off the glass and in. Lead now down to one for you, Chicago, as the Brits have now been scoring with ease on offense. And we're going to an offensive foul call. Offensive foul call on Ryan Jacobson as he was battling for position down there on the left block. Britt's possession here. It'll be big for them as they'll, they'll have a chance to take their first lead since early first half. Jacobson comes out of the basketball game for the Brits. In comes Zach Munson. Arshon Parker with the ball for the Brits. Settles for three. Air ball. New Chicago in response. Let's see how they do here. Here's Munson. He drops steps. They're going to get a foul call here. They get a foul call on Arshon Parker as Munson tried to score quickly as he realized he had a mismatch there with a the much smaller Arshon Parker on top of him. Parker had no choice but to foul him there. He'll send months into the line for a one and one. Munson's first free throw attempt is off front iron. Winston with the rebound for the Brits. Getting it to Arshon Parker and he'll slow it up. Brits will run some offense here. Britt's still down one, just under eight minutes to go here in the second half. Finding Winston, he drives it under the basket, passes it back out to Bennett. 
quickly back into Holmes, but he'll be fouled on the entry pass. Out of the game is Arshon Parker. He'll get some applause from the student section. He has been huge for the Brits, providing an excellent spark plug to give him the inspiration to cut down that, that once was big lead that the Chicago Maroons had. Denzel Davis inbounding and MJ Barnes on the, on the right side. Ball gets back to Davis. Davis conducting traffic here on the offense here. Finding Holmes. Hands it off to Winston, finding Bennett, open for the left side three. Off back iron, too strong. Devin Holmes almost getting the offensive rebound for the Brits, but he loses possession. Maroons with the ball. Here's Baum for the, the Maroons, getting it over to Karras. McDaniel back to Larravee, who gets it to Karras. Missing the jumper after some excellent ball handling there from the Brits. James L. Davis deciding to drive in. Get the contact in one. And Davis will go to the line to try to complete the three point play. James L. Davis, free throw attempt is up, Riles on the rim and in. James L. Davis completes the three-point play with the three-point play that now gives the Brits a now two-point lead over the Chicago Maroons with just under seven minutes to go in the second half. Albion leading 50, Chicago 48. Ball gets inbounded into Larravee. He drops steps, he can't get the lay-in. Zach Winston with a tough rebound for the Brits, and James L. Davis has the ball for the Brits. Getting into Fordham. Fordham drives in, gets contact on the lane, and he'll go to the line. What a swing of momentum. This game had ever since Arshon Parker was able to make Noah Cross fall off of the step back hesitation that he had prior to his jumper. The Brits have been excellent on offense ever since then. Also getting some turnovers on defense as Fordham's second free throw attempt goes up. The Brits were down huge to start the second half. Now they now lead by four as the ball gets into number 15, Larravee, and he'll go for the easy land to decrease the lead back down to two. Let's see if the Brits can keep this now motivated offense afloat here. Davis driving in. Lots of contact on the lay-in. Can't seem to get it to fall as, as Devin Holmes almost got the offensive rebound. But here's Baum with the ball for the Chicago Maroons. Off the backboard, he can't seem to get the fall though. But the ball still rebounded by Schmitz after the long rebound. Ball gets inbounded into number 15, Larravee, and in. And now we have a tie game. 52-52. Just under five minutes, 30 seconds left to go here. There's MJ Barnes with the ball for the Brits, getting it to Devin Holmes. Back to James L. Davis, he hands it off. Davis trying to get some contact on the shot. Can't get a whistle as he misses the shot. And here's Jordan Baum in response for Chicago. Larravee gets contact down low after the pump fake. And he'll go to the line. Follow beyond the freshman 34, Devin Holmes. 
That's his third foul in the game. Referee's gonna clean the sweat off the ball before this free throw attempt. Before these free throw attempts for for Dominic Larvey, the sophomore forward for U Chicago Maroons. Chicago Maroons fending off an inspired offensive attack from the Brits. As Devin Holmes come out of the game, in comes Caden Ebling. And out goes Zach Winston, and in for Winston comes Nathaniel Collins. New Chicago's second free throw attempt is off, but Schmitz gets the rebound out to Baum. Baum opts for the long three and misses it. New Chicago with another offensive rebound back to Baum, misses the three point again. Ebling with the rebound. And James L. Davis is running. He's getting harassed by some excellent U Chicago defense. Finds Collins for the three. He can't knock it down. And here's U Chicago with the ball. Bomb. Puts the ball on the ground. Finding Schmitz over on the right side. Finding Munson up top. U Chicago's going to run some offense. Larravee trying to fight Fordham for position down there. Munson up top. Finding Bomb. Fordham. Excuse me. Fordham on defense for the sh for the three-point shot for the Maroons. Maroons missed the three-point shot. <laughs> Davis with the ball. Swing it over to Fordham. Fordham surveying the floor. Finding Barnes over on the right side. Back to Fordham. Fordham pump fakes jabs. Finding Davis. Back to Fordham. Three. Three-point shot falls to give the Brits a two-point lead over the U Chicago Maroons. Just under four minutes to go left in the second half. Baum with the ball for the Maroons. Driving in the middle. Loses possession of the ball briefly, but gets it back. Rebounded after the shot is elbling. He gets fouled. Dawson Ebling to the line. Foul was on Jordan Baum, the junior guard for UChicago. That'll be his third foul of the game. He'll send Ebling to the line. He'll send Ebling to the line for a one and one. Out comes Jalen Fordham. In comes the freshman, number 34, Devin Holmes. Ebling's first free throw attempt is up. Off back iron. Free throw attempt would have increased Albion's lead to three. But here we are. Albion leading U Chicago by two, 55 to 53. As U Chicago turns over the ball, but Brits turn right, turn the ball right back over. And Larravee will be going to the line after Ebling's errant pass. And U Chicago's Dominic Larravee will go to the line after he was fouled by MJ Barnes on his layup attempt. First free throw attempt is up and in. Out comes the freshman, number 34, and back in comes Jalen Ford. Second free throw attempt is up. Off front iron and then. And we have a tie game here in Kresge Gymnasium. 55 55. Three minutes and 10 seconds left to go on the game clock. James L. Davis with the ball for the Brits. Here's Fordham driving in the middle, finding Ebling with a nice pass off the glass and in. Fordham with a nice pass after driving in, finding Ebling on the right side. Giving Albion a two-point lead. 57-55. Here's Larravee for the Maroons. Ball blocked by Nathaniel Collins. 
Jacobson loses possession of the ball. And here's Collins ready to jump ball. Brits displaying an excellent hustle after the ball. It was a log rebound. Jordan Baum tried to get a timeout call there, but the referees didn't see it. Nathaniel Collins fighting for the ball, getting possession of the ball would be huge. It'll be huge. As Ebling will come out of the game for, I believe, I believe a blood issue. It'll be a, t a quick timeout for that, but Nathaniel Collins getting on the floor, causing a jump ball, getting possession for the Brits. Inbounding for the Brits will be Jalen Fordham. And we have a huge possession for the Brits here. We're starting to enter the late stages of this game. Under three minutes to go, two minutes, 38 seconds. Brits lead by two. 57 55. Let's see if they can make this a two possession game with a bucket here. J James L. Davis with the ball. Gets a pick from Jalen Fordham. Fordham jabs, drives on the right side. Excellent defense there by Jacobs. Back to Davis who finds Collins in the left side for three. Can't knock it down. Baum with the ball in response. Slows it up, finding Jacobs, and he drives in, off the glass and in. Jacobs tying the game up for UChicago again. Just under two minutes to go in the second half here. Nathaniel Collins with the ball for the bread. Swing it over to Fordham. Fordham for three. Too strong, off back iron. And here they get the ball to Jordan Baum, and Baum will walk it up court. Timeout, U Chicago. We have a game that's really coming down to the wire here. We have, we have it tied up 57 57 with 1 minute 41 seconds left to go. We'll be right back right after this timeout. And we're back after the timeout. One minute, 40, 41 seconds left to go in the second half. We have a tie ball game, 57-57. UChicago possession. Jacobs with the ball, driving on the right side on Barnes. Barnes gets a piece of it on the shot. And the Brits get the rebound. James L. Davis with a tough rebound. He'll get fouled. Fouls on U Chicago's Noah Karras. He'll send James L. Davis to the line for a one and one. Davis' first free throw attempt is up and in.
second attempt is up. Panem. James L. Davis, two free throws give the Brits a two point lead with under one minute, 20 seconds left to go in the second half. Student section getting into the game now. See if it makes any difference in the defense for the Brits as the Chicago is running offense here. Here's Max Jacobs getting it over to 15. Larravee hands it off to Baum. It'll be uh, uh, going to get a steal. James L. Davis. Big steal. We're going to get a timeout for the Brits. We'll be back. And we're back after the timeout. Albion College leads by two late in the second half. 51 seconds left to go on the game clock. Albion leading 51. Chicago Maroons 57. Jalen Fordham on the inbound. James L. Davis gets the ball on the inbound. He'll milk some shot. He'll, he'll milk some. He'll milk some time off the shot clock here. At least would be the smart thing to do for the Brits as James L. Davis gets the ball over to Fordham. Fordham, pump fakes, gets it back to Davis. Ebling shows for a screen. Three seconds left to go on the shot clock. Davis missing the floater at the free throw line. Here's you, Chicago. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds left to go. We have Schmitz with the drive, missing the lay in. Jacobson, the rebound, off the glass and in. Davis with the ball. Ten seconds left to go. Look at the screen from Ebling. He takes it. Dribbles. Three from Davis. Oh, and he's off. The three from Davis going out of bounds as Collins trying to score it. And the referee's going to talk it over, see if the game if the game clock sh should expire. You got like the guts there from James L. Davis opting to try to take the game winning shot here. Into the game comes Ryan Lowe for the Brits. We're gonna get .6 seconds left on the shot, on the game clock. Let's see if the Maroons can pull off a miracle. Inbounds in the bomb. Bomb shoots it. Uh, and we're going to overtime. We'll be back when they start overtime.
And we're back. Albion College putting together an excellent comeback after being down big to start the second half. They're able to tie it up. James L. Davis missing the would-be game-winning shot. And here we are at overtime, tied 59-59, five minutes to go on the game clock. New Chicago with the ball. Turning the ball over to Schmitz there on the drive. And we have Arshon Parker with the ball, with the Brits in response. Ball gets worked over to Nathaniel Collins over on the right wing. Back to Arshon Parker up top, finding Fordham on the left side. Fordham driving in at the free throw line. Ops to take a jumper in. Fordham's free throw line jumper giving Albion a two point lead now. Start off this overtime game here. New Chicago with the ball. Max Jacobs driving in and getting fouled. He'll go to the line. Shooting two. Fouls on Caden Ebling. That is his fifth of the game. Ebling will come out of the game for Ryan Lowe. Jacob's first free throw attempt rolls around the rim and then out comes Schmitz for U Chicago. In comes Noah Karras. Second free throw attempt is in, tying up this ball game again. Jalen Fordham inbounds the ball to Arshon Parker. Arshon Parker with the ball. Finding Fordham, Fordham driving in. Pivots out, tries to hit a fadeaway tough shot on Larrabee. Can't get the ball to go. And we're gonna get a foul call on Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe getting tangled up there with Jacobson below the basket. That'll be his fourth. Jacobson's first free throw attempt. Off back iron, too strong. Tie ball game here, just under four minutes left to go. Free throw here will give, the mid free throw will give Chicago a one point lead. Can't make it, but still offensive rebound by, by the Maroons. And back up top, we have Jordan Baum with the ball. He'll, he'll conduct some traffic. Over to Jacobson, to Larravee. Larravee driving in. Gets met with Ryan Lowe, but still hits the right hook jumper over the tall, menacing Ryan Lowe. Got to be impressed with the shot there. Arshan Parker with the ball for the Brits. Gets a pick from Ryan Lowe. Gets met with some excellent defense from Larravee. Finds Bennett over in the left side for three. Dylan Bennett knocking down the left corner three to give the Brits the one point, one point lead. Just under three minutes left to go in overtime here in Kresge Gymnasium. Larravee losing the ball as he drives in. And it'll be Brits possession. Fordham inbounding the ball to Arshon Parker and he'll walk it up court. Larravee hitting the ground after some contact from Fordham. He gets up off the ground. No whistle from the referee, so he'll just play it. 
Arshon Parker driving in, finding Fordham over on the left side for three. The Brett's hitting two back-to-back -back three point shots to give themselves a four point lead over the Maroons. And Jordan Baum hitting a quick three in response. Big shot from Jordan Baum. Decreasing the Albion lead down to one. Arshon Parker driving in, in the lane, finding Nathaniel Collins. Collins driving in, gets contact. Can't complete the three-point play, but he'll go to the line. Nathaniel Collins. Going to the line. The foul was on Cole Schmitz. That's his fifth of the game. Nathaniel Collins will look to increase this Albion lead up to three, possibly. First attempt off front iron, too soft. Into the game comes Zach Winston and Devin Holmes. And then for Schmitz, for the Maroons, comes Noah Karras. Collins, second free throw attempt is up and in. The Brits now have a two-point lead with just under two minutes left to go in overtime. Jordan Baum with the ball for the Maroons. Jacobson getting over to Larravee. Here's Baum for three. Too soft. We're going to get a foul call on We're going to get a foul call on Jacobson on, on the loose ball dive there. Jacobson a little shaken up. Hosting one of the Brits to the line there. That will be Jacobson's fifth foul. And he'll go to the bench. Into the game for Jacobson is McDaniel. Dylan Bennett to the line for the Brits. He could possibly make this a two-possession game for the Brits if he knocks down both. First attempt is up. Can't seem to make it go. Dylan Bennett, second free throw attempt. We'll give him a three point lead. See if he can knock it down. Can't get either one to go. And the game stays a two point lead. Albion leading 68 66. One minute, 35 seconds left to go in the game clock. Jordan Baum drives in. Does a little circle around the rim. Can't find anything. Settles for three, but can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Zach Winston. Big possession here for the Brits, and then he's going to call a timeout. We'll be right back after the timeout.
And we're back after the timeout. Albion leading 68-66 over the U Chicago Maroons. Arshon Parker with the ball for the Brits. And the Brits are running offense. Fordham driving in with the lay in. Rattles him on the rim but can't get it to fall. Would have been big for the Brits as it would have gave him a two possession lead. But now here we are. Game clock now just under a minute. New Chicago trying to come up with a quick response is number 21, Max Jacobs, but he can't get the lay in. Brits with the rebound. And Arshon Parker is going to slow it up here. Arshon Parker getting it over to Dylan Bennett. Over to Fordham on the right side. Fordham driving in. Finding Parker over for the three. Pass over to Bennett for three. <laughs> Dylan Bennett knocking down the big shot. Giving the Abin College Brits a five point lead. Just under 30 seconds left to go. Here in overtime for the Brits. Timeout, U Chicago. We'll be back. And we're back from the timeout. U Chicago down by five after the big three-point shot to, from Dylan Bennett to give Albion a, a five-point lead. How will U Chicago respond? There's Max Jacobs with the ball for the Brits. Finding Karras for three. Can't get it to go off back iron. He'll be fouled on rebound. It's Dylan Bennett. He'll be sent to the line. U Chicago coming up with an with an uh, an awesome offensive play to set up Noah Karras, the senior guard, for open for the three, but he could not seem to get the ball to go in the basket. Yeah. Dylan Bennett on the rebound, fouled. Dylan Bennett knocking down his first free throw attempt to see if he can knock down the second one as well. And then, see what U Chicago does here. They got to score quickly. Here's Baum finding number 21 over in the corner. He airballs it, and the Brits are running after the rebound, finding Winston, and he'll lay it in. And it looks like that'll be it for the Brits as uh, <laughs> New Chicago knocking down a late three-point shot. 0.5 seconds left to go on the game clock here. And there we have it. Albion College pulling out a W here in Kresge Gymnasium. 75 to New Chicago 69. What a great win it has to be for the Brits after being down so much in, in the first half, for majority of the first half. Coming back to win after that Arshon Parker step back that made number five Noah Karras fall down. That seemed to inspire the Brits to, to this win here.
that momentum. They really woke up the crowd here in Kresge and propelled them to a 75-69 win just before the end of the semester for the Brits. But that'll be all here in Kresge. Albion, oh, okay. <laughs>